Hey you guys! Today I'm going to be showing you how to upload photos onto Google Photos. I'm going to be showing you how to do this on your mobile device as well as on your laptop or on the website. So have one or both of these devices on hand that way you can follow along as we go through. Let's jump right in. So the Google Photos application functions identically to the gallery app on your phone. So all images, videos, screenshots, etc. are accessible from Google Photos. There's a couple of different ways to upload your photos from your gallery to Google Photos. Normally you'd have to go in to the app and activate that backup and sync option. However, you don't have to do that. What you can also do is go in and upload all of your photos and videos manually. So in this case, you're going to want to open up your browser and search photos.google.com and sign into your Gmail account. And once you're here, we'll find at the top right corner this upload option. And this is gonna let us upload from wherever we want. So we can upload from our phone, from our Google Drive, um, and then we've got some other options below here, but what we wanna do is upload from our phone. I'll select this. Um, and then I can go in and manually choose whichever photos, videos, screenshots that I want to be uploaded to my Google Photos. So if I go into my photo library, what I would do is select one of these or several of them and then select add in the top right corner here. Before we upload it, we wanna select what quality we'd like. So if we want the original quality, it's going to um, keep the photo with the same quality as what it was when we took it. Um, this is gonna take up a little bit more storage space. So if you wanted to save some storage space, you would select the storage saver. Then you'll select continue and it's gonna upload this um, same photo with a little bit lower quality. However, the easiest way to add photos and videos to Google Photos would just be to simply back up whatever you have on your iPhone to the Google Photos. To do this, you're first going to want to download the Google Photos app. Once it's been launched and you're signed in, you're going to go to the top right corner and select your icon. Then you're going to go down to the bottom and select the Google Photos settings. And then at the top, we'll select that backup option here. And we just want to make sure that the backup is on. Once it's been turned on, it's just going to automatically back up, search, organize, edit, and share my photos from any device. Okay, now let's jump over to the computer and I'm going to show you guys how to do the same things on there. So the next thing we're going to do, we're going to go to photos.google.com once again. And the first thing you're going to do is sign in if you're not already. Once you're signed in, um, we're first going to go over that manual upload option. So like I said before, if you didn't want to back up your um, device, you could simply do a manual upload. So up at the top right corner, we'll find that upload button here. And this time, instead of iPhone, it's gonna be computer. So we can upload any media from our computer onto our Google Photos. It's gonna bring us to our documents, but from here we can go into downloads, um, pictures, applications, movies, any of these, and then click open. And then once again, we have that same um, backup quality that we can choose. So if we wanted to save some storage space, we would select that storage saver. But if we wanted to keep that original quality, we would just keep that first one selected. Next, I'm gonna show you how to do that same backup as before, as we did on the iPhone. If you wanted to backup from your computer, you're simply going to go up to that upload option here again, select it to bring down that drop down menu. And then we're going to select backup from computer. In order to do this, you'll have to download Google Drive onto your desktop. However, it is important to note that if you have a lot of photos and videos um, on your laptop, you may need to upgrade your storage space. But if you do have enough storage space, um, all you would do is download that Google Drive app, um, finish setting it up, and then all of the photos and videos on your laptop would be backed up to there. Alrighty, you guys, that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you found all of this helpful. Thanks again, and I will see you guys in the next video.